The FAA has yet to provide SpaceX the rocket launch authorization that they have been requesting for months, so unless a launch permission is provided to SpaceX, the company cannot launch any Starship above the outer Earth orbit. SpaceX is free to do any tests on the Starship, but propelling it into space is prohibited by the FAA. As a result, a new company called Varda has partnered with SpaceX to relocate practically all industrial operations to a free and secure environment that will not be controlled by the FAA or any government. However, we cannot be certain that the FAA is purposefully restricting all SpaceX launches. But the good news is that, finally, SpaceX will soon be free from the shackles of the FAA if the proposed new company that will be built in space is accomplished. Keep watching as we expose the newly established $3.2 billion SpaceX factory that will be built in space, as well as all the products that will be manufactured in the factory. Of course, the Starbase will remain on Earth, but there are some significant products that must be created with extraordinary accuracy and in a clean, dust-free environment. Without a doubt, SpaceX will run the new space company with Varda at a great cost. Consider the expense of transferring industrial plants, energy tanks and many other working equipment to space which will incur significant costs. Varda Space Industries has announced a collaboration with SpaceX to launch and place the first space factory in orbit by the first quarter of 2023. The first space factory will be mounted on numerous Photon spacecraft donated by Rocket Lab. Varda Space went on to say that they are not simply establishing an orbiting lab, but the first commercial zero-gravity industrial park on a large scale. Initially, Varda Space will connect at least three Photon ships. Spaceships may be constructed to serve a variety of functions. Unlike the ISS, Varda will be modified to allow autonomous manufacturing in space that does not require human supervision. At the end of every production, the aircraft will be fitted with a re-entry capsule that will return made products to Earth. The first factory would only be able to generate a few hundred kilograms of material, leading people to speculate on what types of items Varda might make in order to remain viable. The company will concentrate on manufacturing high-value items that sell for high prices despite their size. Chemical purity elements, flawless crystal structures, semiconductors, fiber optic cables and medicinal material are just a few of the items that can be manufactured more effectively in space or whose purity levels are drastically boosted in microgravity production. Certain products, like as specialized semiconductors and bioprinted human organs, may be produced fairly effectively in microgravity. There's also Z-Bland fiber, which is extremely sensitive during production. Aside from Varda Space, NASA's ISS has been exploring with similar materials for some time. They were also the first to return packages from orbit to Earth using SpaceX's Dragon spaceship. It's incredible that the Dragon is still the only spaceship capable of doing its duty efficiently 10 years after its launch. Varda plans to build its own smart satellites equipped with small re-entry capsules capable of returning up to 100 kilos to Earth. The main challenge will be to design a re-entry capsule that will allow the materials to be returned to Earth. Re-entry is more difficult than building hardware devices. Another issue is that both processors and equipment will be subjected to high levels of radiation and must endure solar flare exposure. The company guarantees that the things it will produce will improve people's quality of life on Earth and will hasten mankind's expansion towards the stars. Their free-flying space factory is a game-changer. It will be operational in less than 18 months rather than 5 or 10 years. Varda Space must recruit partners to assist in the flight to low Earth orbit in order to make the flight to space possible. This is where SpaceX comes in. Companies who wish to send things into space can do so by using one of SpaceX's planned missions. Varda chose SpaceX as a launch provider because of its low launch cost. Essentially, the two corporations travel to space together. Once they reach to their destination, they are free to go their separate ways, almost like space carpooling. We are one step closer to providing vital commodities to our clients here on Earth, stated Will Broy, CEO of Varda Space Industries. Broy spent nearly a decade with SpaceX working on the Drago crew and Dragon cargo spacecraft. The company promises that the products it will create will enhance people's lives on Earth and hasten humanity's expansion to the stars. Their free-flying space factory is a game-changer. 
Now coming to the most important question you may be curious about, what is the importance of the mission? Varda Space's investment in the project is driven by its goal of establishing an industrial station in space. The company will develop a microgravity manufacturing module for outer space production as well as a re-entry capsule to return whatever products manufactured in space to Earth. The spacecraft designed for Falcon 9 will test space manufacturing technologies in orbit for three months following installation. Another significant reason SpaceX was picked is because of its pricing and dependability. Although both companies SpaceX and Varda have disclosed the specifics for their arrangement, Delian Asparohov Co-founder and president of Varda Space stated that they picked SpaceX because of their cost-effectiveness and reliability. If you want to be thoughtful for a second, you might be thinking why Blue Origin that was fighting with SpaceX over NASA's $2.9 billion Luna contract was not chosen by Varda? Now, you've heard the perfect answer, which is the fact that SpaceX is cost-effective and reliable. While the first spacecraft is awaiting launch, the second and third are already scheduled to launch in late 2024. Varda has currently raised a total of $53 million since its most recent round of investment in July 2021, which it would most likely use to support its forthcoming missions. Again, out of different concerns around the world about space travel, you may want to ask an interesting question like, what are the benefits of space exploration and research? For now, people may not deem it necessity to return to different locations in space given the cost and danger when there are more pressing challenges for mankind globally such as poverty, famine and disease. But shockingly, SpaceX is still hell-bent on building the Starship, the Raptor engine and colonizing Moon, Mars and other human adaptable planets. What is the exact essence of space exploration at this age of our time? To get this very interesting question answered, consider the benefits of having a satellite in orbit now. A satellite can be used for a variety of purposes, including mapping, GPS, weather forecasting, communication, television, detecting missile launches or nuclear explosions in space, search and rescue, remote sensing or monitoring resources important to humans, such as tracking animal migration and locating mineral deposits. Many people believe we should abandon space research owing to the high expense. However, money spent on space exploration does not float away into the galaxy. It leads to the development of new technology and products, as well as new employment and enterprises. So you might not be able to live without broadband internet connection, but would you give up your computer, your car's GPS, navigation system or your mobile phone? Within the next several years, the space program is projected to advance our understanding of solar energy, power, cryogenics and robotics, which are expected to enhance healthcare, energy and the environment, daily technologies and many other sectors. With a burgeoning population, space exploration provides our greatest opportunity of acquiring the resources we require. The world's resources are being stretched painfully thin and are quite little when compared to what is available only inside our own solar system. If we open up the solar system to mankind, we will be able to tackle two major challenges at once the supply of new resources to support an ever-increasing level of living standards and the eventual abolition of all mining and heavy industry on Earth's surface. The ultimate goal is to rezone our precious planet entirely as residential, light industrial or natural wild park zones. All of the destructive mines and large factories will be demolished and we will treat our home with dignity. Space research is in its early stages with the goal of obtaining as much information as possible about the cosmos we live in as well as the best ways to live and move in it. Humans appear to have an innate need to learn more, figure out what we don't comprehend and explore the unknown. One will never fully comprehend the significance of space exploration today. Hopefully, we'll find out tomorrow. Do you think it's necessary to build a factory in space? Be sure to check out your favorite SpaceX video here.